What's going on, you guys? It's Drew with Profit Monsters. I'm here with Mama Profit Monster, I, <laughs> my, my mother. And uh, we just went to the bins for a little bit, took her around, showed her the ways. We found some good stuff. She found some good stuff, so uh, I might have to give her some commissions if I make some sales. But uh, we're heading over to Thrift Mart, and we're actually right at the light waiting for it. So we are going to give you guys a little montage video of at the Thrift Mart. Hopefully we can find some good stuff and take you guys along with us. So let's go. All right, we're here. There's lots of stuff outside. Washers, tires, a scooter, bikes, paintings, hair dryers for $3, toasters for $3. But we're gonna go in and see what we can find. Let's go. Nike cleats. Uh, Nike cleats. They're nice. But. Mm -hmm. Size they are, but. Lots of shoes. Have to look through them. But all the clothing is 75% off, so. I'm gonna have to take some time to go through all this. Seventy-five percent off. It might be worth grabbing. VHS tapes, a little outdated. I know some of them can sell, but that's just too much work to try to find one VHS. I'd rather find something big. I need to make a big sale. Let's see what we can find. Copperstone American Youth Baseball Hall of Fame. Kyrie backpack. the books. I gotta get my Amazon scanner so I can do this. Shoo. Yo, this is a lot of stuff. Holy smokes. This is becoming overwhelming in this store. Let's see what we can find. We got a Pluto. Four bucks. We got a Mickey. No tag. No clothes. Five bucks? No wonder they still have so much stuff. The prices are insane. All these Barbies. Gotta get it off. Royal Caribbean? No. Valley Torino? No. Crimea Golf? Bay Masters Clearwater? That is a lot of DVDs. Good lord. All right guys, so far not much. This place is really overpriced as far as I'm concerned. I mean, they've got DVD combo units, but 30 bucks. So I managed to find this US Postal Service hat and the Vineyard Vines hat. So I guess we're just going Team USA today. Gonna maybe hit up one more thrift store, but not too much here. It's just way too much money. Right, mom? Too much. So look at this. 
Look at this. Okay. This is Adidas jacket. Basic Adidas windbreaker. Let's look at the price. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. This place is a crack. I ain't paying these prices. I'm already cringing paying $3 for a hat. $75 for a door. $80 for a desk. $50 for whatever that is. $25. This is not a thrift store. This is a rip store. $25 for a textbook. $300. $4 for an unknown painting. $175. Come on now. Out of our price range. Not even close. Alright, so we came to the local Goodwill because Thrift Mart was weak. So we're hoping to see if we can find anything. And I found this bag of plush. It's five bucks for all these plush toys. Who we got? Is that Monsters Inc? Disney. Simba. Is this original? Forget me, this is Oh, here's another one under Disney. Oh, there's another one. It's a fox. Yeah, the same. The same. Yeah. Rocks. We got banana. What's that Nickelodeon one right there? The green one. Ninja Turtles. Okay, we got something. Nice. Trolls. Let's see what they look like on. This might oh, be worth man. picking up. I'm gonna look up some comps on these. Isn't he a beanie? <laughs> mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, so I found these Air Jordans. These are like dead stock. Clean. But look at this. $75 in a Goodwill. I'm about to look these up. These better be like five thousand dollar shoes. Yeah, these can definitely go right back on the shelf for that price. Four ninety nine for right there. Yep, they can stay there. <laughs> when all hope seemed lost, might have just hit the jackpot. Check this out. Pro player, huge Orlando Magic windbreaker. This thing is legit. Big pro player tag right there. And wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Clean. I'm loving this. But the price, mom. Look at this Orlando Magic Windbreaker. How much? How much do you think? 55. Okay, we're doing good then. 10 bucks. Oh, it's ours. I'm picking this up yeah. all day. This is easy. 50, 75 bucks just by guessing. Sweet. This is clean too. This Florida State tank top. What is that? Florida State University. It's kind of cool. Nike drive that. Just looking for bright colors. Anything. Oh, look at that. Bright colors. What did I say? Coogie. 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 Whatever you call it. Look at that. I'm gonna check that out right now. 
It's legit. What'd you find? They're $18.99. Nike, Nike cleats. Those are Hirachis. What are they showing? $9.99. Rip. I didn't know. Just came across this Nerf gun recon. 99 cents? I think I'm ready to check out. How about you? Ready. Okay, I got the jacket, the plushes, the mm -hmm. Nerf gun, the Kuji, yeah. or the Kugi, I don't even know how to say mm -hmm. it, but I like the color, so we're picking it up. We're gonna roll out of here. Rolling. This is the best stuff of the day so far. Well, I don't know, I found some pretty good stuff at the bins. I'll show you guys. All right, guys, we're back at the house with the family. There's Asher behind the big ball. There's mom. And there's Danny drinking her coffee. Look, check out my postal hat service. I think I did pretty good on this one. I can probably sell for like 20, 30 bucks. Anyway, we're gonna go over the haul from the Goodwill bins because you guys already saw what we got at the thrift stores. Pretty pumped about those finds, so let's jump right into it. Okay, here we are. So I'm gonna go over the hats first. I got a really cool uh, DeWitt excavating hat with an excavator on it. Some of these hats can sell really well. Again, for the price of the bins, I'm willing to take a chance on it. Here's an excavator hat. A uh, classic Adidas hat. I got a uh, Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville hat. It's like got an airplane on it, so it looked pretty cool. John Deere hat for girl, pink. And then Polo Ralph Lauren, Lauren, whatever you want to call it, with like a brown leather strap on the back. Pretty cool. These are all $20 all day. So soccer jerseys sell really well for me, so I picked up this Adidas soccer jersey. A uh, good old Disney tie-dye shirt right here. The graphics a little faded, but Disney stuff sells really well. Uh, so I'm always gonna pick up Disney stuff. This is a vintage uh, Chargers jersey. Uh, Junior Seau, I think is how you say his name, uh, but it's printed on Champion, and these jerseys are selling for like 45 to 55 bucks. I looked up these comps. So got a decent Nike uh, mesh tank top. This will be good for someone that's a bigger size. It is a double XL, so this will sell really quick. I sell Nike stuff really fast. I got this vintage Disney Typhoon Lagoon shirt. It's pretty basic. Uh, it's just got the Typhoon Lagoon on the sleeve, so I picked this up. It's probably a $20 shirt. Another Disney shirt, this is a classic. I'll put this really cheap just to get people to look at my closet on Poshmark, probably like eight bucks. Here is a Simply Southern shirt. This one's in really good shape. No rips or tears or stains and the colors on the back are really nice. So I should be able to sell that for 12, 15 bucks pretty quickly. Here is a Florida Gators blank jersey. I believe Tim Tebow was number one and the size is large and it's also on a Nike team uh, jersey, so I should be able to sell this pretty fast as well. I'm thinking 20, 25 bucks. This was a really cool find. This is a vintage 1991 uh, wrestling jacket, as you can see right there. I don't even know what it means, uh, but uh, I'll have to look it up. I probably can't find any comps on it, but since it's old, I'll probably throw it on Depop and uh, and eBay. But old stuff that's in the 90s, it's like that kind of like three quarter pullover zip. It's not all the way down, so, and it's got pockets on it, and it's clean, so uh, it should sell well. Here's one of mom's finds at the bins. Bins is a Star Wars button-down snap jacket sweater thing. Uh, really nice shape, uh, nothing on the back, but just a really nice sweater. And Star Wars stuff has a pretty big cult following, as well as Star Wars Land just opened up at Disney, like last week, I think, or the week before. So that stuff is really in right now. Next is a really nice color L.L. Bean jacket. Um, this is just stocking up for winter. Just a really nice uh, fleece lined L.L. Bean jacket. These are also in really good shape. All the jackets that we found. So the colors are really bright and vibrant and L.L. Bean's really huge in the winter. So I should be able to get probably 30, 40 bucks for that at least. Here is a Arizona jeans leather type jacket. I believe it's not real. It's probably polyester or whatever they make fake leather out of these days but it's just a really nice bomber jacket and um, 
Again, for the price that I'm paying at the bins, I'm willing to take a chance on it. Uh, this could be described as like a greaser jacket or like a 50s leather type jacket or something like that. Um, and uh, this should sell probably for at least 20 to 40 bucks. Got another Arizona company jacket right here. This one is like a denim type material. It's like, I don't know if it's denim or corduroy or something, but uh, anyway, and then it's flannel line. So just really cool jacket. This was a nice one that mom found as well. And uh, again, I'll probably list it for somewhere between 20 and 40 bucks and just accept an offer. And then one of the crazier finds of the day was this huge Carhartt thick rain jacket. I don't even know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a rain jacket, uh, but it's in really good shape. It's a little dirty. I got to wipe it off, but overall there's no rips or tears on it, no holes or nothing. And in the process of finding this at the bins, if you follow me on Instagram at Drew Thrifts and Flips, uh, I found a syringe inside the pocket of this when we were at the bins today. It was pretty crazy. We turned it into security and made sure that they got it. I didn't get stabbed though, so I got to make sure that I'm up to date on my rabies and tetanus shots for sure. A couple last minute things. We got two ties, a uh, Looney Tunes tie from 1995 and a Garfield tie from the 90s as well. So those ties should sell really well, 10, 15 bucks. Got a pair of men's Sperry shoes. Uh, I paid, uh, or these are selling for anywhere from 20 to $40 online. So, uh, but they're a good size, they're size 13. So they got the original soles and there's no like major issues with them. So should be really well on them. And got a pair of these jeans. These are DuPont Kevlar jeans. These are like racing for, I don't know if they're for dirt biking or motocross, probably like street bikes and crotch rockets, that kind of racing, force riders. If you know anything about these, leave a comment in the comment section below. Couldn't find many comps on them, but they looked like they were in really good shape and we figured we took a chance on them. Mom found these ones again, so props to her. And then last but not least, I got this Pikachu onesie. Uh, this literally weighs nothing. I mean, I probably paid a quarter for this in weight and it looks like it would fit me perfectly. So I don't know. I might just keep this for myself for the winter. Please nice little don't. PJ outfit. No. <laughs> anyway, so we'll see. I, uh, I can resell this easy Pokemon stuff is still banging even since 1999. So I'm going to hit that with the eBay with a cool $50 and hopefully take an offer. Oh, and also found these Jeff Gordon racing pants. They are a youth large, uh, but they're NASCAR and they're vintage for sure. The tag is old on them, Chase Authentics. So some pretty cool finds today. Cut, cut. So that's all the finds from the Goodwill bins. And then of course, if you saw the content earlier, we got some stuff from the, uh, the Goodwill and the Thrift Mart. I got this hat right here. Pretty stoked about this one. Should do pretty well on it. Or I might just keep it for myself. I don't know, do I look good in it? What do you think? Uh, I got the plushes at Goodwill. One of the plushes uh, was selling for like 68 bucks on eBay. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna pull them all out, look up comps on all of them. And then we also got the uh, Kugi or Kuji, however you say that, polo. And the Orlando Magic Jacket, I'm super pumped about that. It was the find of the day. So make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the content. Comment below if you think I'm crazy for going to the Goodwill bins and their syringes and jackets. And I will see you in the next video. Asher, say peace money. Peace money.